Radiant Team Pick. Of Double Edge, this could be your first blood. Ooh, not quite. Gets the anchor smash off, but the threat is, is real here. In the meantime, first Nets just blood. dove way past First Departure's tower. I think he might have been looking for a courier snipe, but that's Ushi and still doing quite well in the mid lane. I'm curious to see how far this vent can really take it. Now jumping in, Mushi though, he blinks right into a fire blast and the secondary magic missile. Has he gone in too far? He has. He gets taken down. Bottom lane, Palasa. Moving forward, though it's not going to be there. Hello? They're just locked in. What? What is going on here? Come on, Ohio, do something. There they go. Okay, now they get it on through. Sunstrike there, but it's not even necessary as Ohio immediately runs right on through and takes down Vengeful Spirit now. Can't be trying to get away from this one. Still level five will go down. There's your Ravage as he makes the rotation to the top of Mushi. Right in the middle of it all. Takes the full ultimate and goes down What once is more. Mushi doing? Why just leave about a blink forward. No rap pulled out yet. And uh, instead goes for the gush. But the follow-up Stormhammer, and it just takes two big slashes coming out from Miracle to finish off that Invoker. Stormhammer right clicks once, right clicks twice. Not going to be enough. He makes his way on out. Plays from Ohio. He got the stomp on two. So clutch. So Major stone gaze though, Pelosin. Oh, the last right click catches on KYX, but it's a long range one, and he obviously sees that, but can't quite move on forward. Oh! Fallen. Quick blink avoids the storm hammer there from me. Exhort isn't even max, so it's not that scary of a combo. And the pushback from Deathly Blast. Uh oh, Miracle right jumps right onto Mushi with a hammer and just immediately <laughs> takes him apart. Mushi there just doesn't know what the hell happened. He's just he's like, like we've seen this movie before. Ohio gonna walk right into first departure. Oh no. Oh, that's a three on one. Stampede, oh, nice four staff, but no. The uh, burn is there, Medusa is able to get the last little notch in Ohio, where they have to go for a high ground. Ana. Split push, they jump in on bottom lane. Ana in trouble, forced to pull out the Ravage, catches on a lot, but he has to walk out for Mystic Flare. He's very low, will go down. The rotations are slowly coming in, but is it too late? Wave of Terror flies out, scouts out net, hiding in the woods. He's gonna get chopped down from Miracle. And now it's the first life of your Wraith King. All the precious cores do make their escape, but the supports, the backup, the foundation, they will go down. Malaysia lose two supports for the one takedown of Tidehunter, who does use the Ravage. On a split push. He, who are the easy solo kills here? Venge, who has 10 armor and a medallion. Not that easy. Oh, and the river will see Palosum picking up the Scarlet Maid. Now looking for Kenshi. He managed to turn him to stone. A quick double kill for your Medusa. And Mushi unable to find those kills in the meantime. That was. That was just awkward. <laughs> Those supports had just come back from their unfortunate which can often be enough to kill them. So that's yeah, just anti mage in this draft is not really going to be that good of a man mode hero. But he's going to find this pick off and pull us some. Oh, this is a big grab. That man avoid now. No man to work with. Forced to pull out the stone gaze. Ravage, however, comes out. Mushi goes down. They have enough burst potential to take out him and take out Ohio. Big turnaround right now for first departure as two. And Invoker notices is happening. It's going to be KYXY going. On board immediately, four staff assisted. Going with the Shivas. Big Meatball and a big choke point. Can he add big offensive damage here to prevent them from moving forward? Swap back though, your invoker is going to go down. Another excellent grab. Pelosi picks it up. First departure grab another. They are reaching right now. The fact that he does no defensive items at all. Yeah, it's kind of a concern. Ooh. Miracle runs back to base, but he has boots of travel, so he just comes right back in. 4k gold on hand. And There's still a glyph. I don't know if we'll have to use this. Stop uh, buyback. Oh. They're gonna try to hold it. Spring is going right he does. Get forced back out, but he doesn't have going down. Your ult's gonna be used here. 15 seconds still on Mushi. Big Ravage as they press on forward with the ship is on top of it. KYXY bursted down immediately. The BKB Miracle pressing on forward, and now they kill out the supports, forcing two buybacks. Mushi is gonna wait out his death timer. They lose one Rax here on the bottom, but Ohio locks out Aluka. They take down the Ogre support. Where Mushi is gonna go. Mushi blinks oh, in. Oh, oh nobody got off the abyssal. The swap's there defensively. Tornado coming through. Now Ohio looking for the stop. Gets basically nothing. Mushi gets shredded. Fortunately, has the Aegis will be coming back, but the rest of the team annihilated. And Voker trapped out. He's gonna head to the south, try and take down this lane of Rex instead. That ain't gonna happen. Everybody pursuing him out. Four heroes dead. Can your Aegis and he gets oh. four X multicast. I don't know if he dies here, but really presses forward. Clearing out those creeps, you can see the damage from her in the low ground. Miracle jumps forward, wants net, who gets forced away once more. Mushi intercepts, Abyssal locks him in place, but the BKB is going to soak him the damage, and Mushi goes down, forces out the buyback. They jump on back forward, they take down the Wraith King, and they just finish what they started on this Rax. They want to make it to the Summit House here, and with a victory, they could do it. Your Stone Gaze pops off.
Kenshi falls once more. Two down. Radiant's and now your mid racks also fall. down. First departure. They're going for the jugular. Looks like LD. Megas Radiant's are on the rise here. Mushi, what can he do to stop this? Uh, nothing. He blinks in. He's just going to get stunned. Probably die. He does have a mana void if he can somehow find that magic mana void. Perhaps there's hope, but you're still looking at mass buybacks ready to go for first departure. Even if they fall, Mushi gets a double. He's low, but Invoker coming through with the Deathly Blast. Looking for Lubby. There's your bash. Should be enough for the kill. The vent swapping from long range. They just want the Megas. Lobby gonna go down, Paul also gonna go down, four heroes dead, but all four have bite. A full lane of racks. Still doesn't look great for Malaysia, but this is the best it's gonna ever get. I'm behind. Oh, she doesn't make it to the high ground, Medusa's stuck in the corner, forced to pull out the BKB, but they immediately fire back with that heavy right-click split slot, and they, well, she? they take oh, it she? Oh, oh, no. You can't die back now? Oh, no! It's <laughs> over now. Face. He's out dead for two minutes. Wow, well played, wow. first departure. Stay alive, they've got a date with Invasion. And what a shot a at the land final. First departure, a team that wasn't even initially on the docket to compete. In Only the got Summit in because too. of the match fixing scandal. Here they are. And they even started with a couple of losses when they first got in, and then they just went on a nice hot streak, found their way into the playoffs, moved on through, made their way to the lower bracket final, and now have just made one of the biggest upsets two times now they have bested Team Malaysia in this tournament. <laughs>